All right, we're going to look at elevator problems today. Elevator problems where you're standing on a scale and the elevator's accelerating. So in order to set up these problems, you have to draw a free body diagram. This includes all the forces acting on the object. So here we go. So I might have a person with 50 kilogram mass standing on a scale. And I want to know what does the scale read? Well, the scale is going to experience a force from the person and it's going to apply an opposite and equal force on the person. So whenever we find the normal force acting on our person, that is the apparent weight or what the scale is going to read. Okay. So if your normal force is zero, you're apparently weightless. You have a weightless feeling. Okay. So let's look at the situation if you're just standing on a scale and the elevator hasn't done anything yet or it's moving at a constant velocity. The scale should read your true weight because the acceleration is zero. So when I sum up the forces in the y direction, I should get zero. So here I have the normal force in the positive direction minus mg because it's in the negative direction equals zero. And so my normal force equals mg. And so in this case, they gave me the mass. It's 50 kilograms. So the normal force will equal 50 times 9.8 so the normal force will equal 490 newtons. So that's what the scale should read if the elevator is not accelerating. In these two other instances, the scale reads 510 newtons and 400 newtons, and I'm asked to find the acceleration. Now, an easy way to think about this is the weight is 490 newtons. Which force is larger? The normal force. So that means my acceleration in this case is going to be up. The acceleration is always in the direction of the larger of the two forces in these problems. So in this case, I have 490 newtons down, 400 up. So my acceleration should come out a negative number. It should be going down. So let's just run through solving these problems. So again, in this case, I'm summing up the forces in the y direction. But this time, it is accelerating. So I get ma. Um, this is ay, but I'm just going to call it a for here. Um, and I have normal force minus mg equals ma. I'm going to solve for a by dividing the m over. Okay. So I can plug in my numbers. So I have 510 minus 490 divided by 50 gives me my acceleration. And so you'll see we have an acceleration of 0.4, and it's positive, 0.4 meters per second squared. Positive because it's up. Good. All right, the next one. Do the same kind of deal. We're summing up the forces in the y direction. It's going to cause the mass to accelerate. So I have normal force minus mg equals ma. We're going to divide the m over. So I have 400 minus 490 divided by 50. So here I'm going to get a negative number on top. And so my acceleration comes out to be negative 1.8 meters per second squared. Again, the negative is telling me that it is going down. So when you get to these elevator problems, the scale is reading that normal force. That's your apparent weight. This would also be a quality of if you're riding on a roller coaster and you go over the top of a hill, your normal force would represent your apparent weight. If you go over that hill fast enough, it kind of feels like you're weightless. That's because your normal force has gone to zero. And so we're going to do those problems a little later on.